Okay, so for my lesson, we're going to do a third grade lesson plan. The unit is going to be over place value in general. Um, like I said, I'll be working with a third grader. The lesson plan title is called Roll It, Make It, Expand It. Um, I chose to focus on place value because that's something that we've kind of been going over in class and the some of the techniques that I've been seeing I'm not very familiar with, so I thought it would be a good opportunity for me to come be more familiar with with it that way I can actually teach it to my students. Um, the teak that I chose to focus in on is 3.2a. Um, the student is expected to compose and decompose numbers up to 100,000 as a sum of so many ten thousands, so many thousands, so, so many hundreds, so many tens, and so many ones using objects, pictorial models, numbers, including expanded notation as appropriate. Um, I just, I really like I think that this teak highlights what we're trying to do in general. For our lesson, though, um, it's going to kind of be at the beginning of the unit, so we're going to focus on three-digit numbers for now. Um, if I were using this in a classroom setting, eventually I would move on and do four-digit and five-digit, and this is a num uh, lesson plan that can be repeated for bigger numbers. Um, the students will each be given a dry erase marker and a game dice and then we will I will also laminate worksheets that I've attached to my lesson plan um, the worksheets have uh, basically three columns and I'll explain later what's in those without because if I do it now I'll give away my whole lesson um, but yeah so they'll be able to use the dry erase markers on the laminated worksheet that way I can reuse the worksheets for um, bigger numbers if when we choose to go on to bigger numbers um, and it's a good way for me to see what they're doing without having to waste a bunch of paper. Um, so for the anticipatory set, the students will, the students and I would review the value of base 10 blocks because the, the worksheet does require that they draw out like base 10 blocks. So um, we're just going to review that like the big block is the 100, the longs equal 10, and the little ones equal 1. Um, we'll also go over the place value positions of three-digit numbers, so ones, then tens, then hundreds, just to be on the safe side that everybody understands. The I or the we will objective is we will determine the place values of digits in a three-digit number, and the I will is I will break apart numbers up to three digits long using base ten block drawings, expanded form, and place value. Um, the students should already know the order of place value, like the positions, and how to represent numbers with base 10 block figures. By then, we've already been practicing um, doing that, so they should already have that knowledge. Um, I will model the skills because together, the students and I will pick numbers to break apart. So we'll just pick numbers at random, um, and then we'll draw base 10 blocks and while I'm drawing it on the board I would like for the students to use the dry erase markers on the desk. Um, the dry erase markers will erase off of the desk easily anyway so it's just a good way for me to make sure easily visually check that they are doing what I need them to do and that they're understanding. Um, after we draw out the number with the base 10 blocks then we'll write down which digit is in the hundreds place, which digit is in the tens place, and which digit is in the ones place. Um, and then finally, we will demonstrate, or I will demonstrate how to write that in expanded form. So if it, the number was like 235, it would be 200 plus 30 plus 5. Um, we'll do quite a few numbers together. That way the students can get an idea um, of what we're going to be doing. And then I'll hand out my worksheets. The worksheets have three co columns and do exactly like we just did. Um, the first column is for the roll it part. Um, they'll each roll a game dice three times and write down that number. So if they roll it the first time and it's a six, then they write a six. And they roll it and it's a three, they write a three. And if the, they roll it and it's a two, it's a two, and their number should be 632. Um, the middle column is for the make it portion, and they're going to draw the base 10 blocks um, to represent the number that they rolled, and then expand it where they it the worksheet has 
a place for them to write which digit was in the hundreds, which was in the tens, which was in the ones, and how to write that in expanded form. And it actually has the equation set up for them, so all they have to do is plug in the number um, where it goes. After that, um, after we've we've done a few together, students will do a few on their own using their worksheets, and I will walk around and observe and make sure everybody has it and clarify any questions. Um, and that will be our guided practice. And then to close the lesson, we will perform our tasks backwards. I thought it might be interesting to give them um, the base 10 box and have them tell me what number the base 10 box represents or to give them the expanded form and tell me what number that should equal to um, because I feel like if they can do it one way and do it the other way then that will show me who has identified or I that will show me who has grasped the concept of it and not just mimicking what I'm doing on the board. Uh, for independent practice students will be encouraged to do this during free time and they will also be encouraged to do it with four digit numbers that will introduce our thousands place um, but I like I mentioned before as a moving on from this lesson I would like to expand further into the thousands um, and the hundred thousands as well so that concludes the whole lesson and that's what I plan on doing even with just my little third grader